determine the required diameter of the pins at A and B to the nearest 1 16th inch if the allowable shear stress for the material is 6 kilo KSI, pin A is subjected to double shear whereas pin B is subjected to single shear. Okay, so here is the free body diagram for the figure. So you have double shear at A and single shear at B. Okay, and here is the external force. Here is the internal forces at A, pin A, and D. Okay. So uh, first of all, we need to find the internal forces at uh, point A and point D. <coughs> Excuse me. So in order to do that, uh, let's use the synthesis in equilibrium. So we have three equations. Summation about x-axis, summation about y-axis, and summation of the moment. So in this case, I think uh, we are going the best equation to use is the summation of the moment and about what. Let's see, uh, because we need to find the. Uh, you can take the summation about either a or d. So I'm going. So what I did was I took the summation of the moment about d to find a y. Okay. So assume clockwise is positive. And at D, I have negative 12 dy. Oh, my bad. This is actually a summation of about A. Okay. So I have dy negative 12 dy. So the distance is negative uh, 6 plus 6 is 12. dy counterclockwise negative plus uh, this force. So it's, uh, the distance is 8 and the force is 3. So I have 3 times 8 positive because in clockwise then I found out that dy, dy is equal to 2 ks keep right now let's sum it, let's do the summation about the x-axis so I have ax plus 3 equals 0 then ax equal negative 3 keeps okay or ax equal positive 3 keeps to the left now summation of the y so Summation of the y axis is positive ay plus dy and dy we found out is 2. So I then I know that ay equals negative 2 kips or ay equals. Uh, let me see. So this is going to be uh, 2 kips down. I don't know why I put uh, 4 for 5 here. Okay, so I have uh, a y equals uh, to keep down in positive direction. Okay, now the resultant force at a is equal to the square root of a x squared plus a y squared, which I got uh, three point six zero six keep. Okay, now uh, let me see here. Okay, let's see down here. So here is the here is the uh, free body diagram at pin a which is this pin so you have double shear so let me call this uh, as FA instead of AX because this is resultant force FA FA okay so uh, the resultant force apart in the positive direction is pointing to the left as we found up here okay to the left is positive 3 kips so to the left and because it's uh, a double shear so we have two forces pulling to the right to compensate with the force FA to the left and each of these forces is equal to half of the force to the left because we have double shear okay so the for, uh, we're back to the formula we have shear shear stress equal to shear force divided by the area and the shear force in this case is equal to FA divide by 2 why because you have double shear okay so you have divide by 2 you have to divide by 2 to get the uh, shear for each of the uh, the force okay and what is the area the area is the area of this pin okay so oh, okay and this this area is what we are looking for okay so keep in mind that what keep in mind what you need to Five so that you don't get lost, okay. Right, so FA is 3606 pounds, 
okay what we just uh, most derived from what we just found from here fa okay divide by two because we have double shear again now the area so the area is equal to you know, pi over four times the diameter squared and that is equal to the allowable shear stress of 6,000 pounds per inch square solve for the unknown I got a diameter of pin A is equal to 0.6186 inch and to the nearest 1 16th inch it is going to be a 5 8 inch okay so let me see uh, what is 5 over 8 in fraction so 6 Point two five. So this is actually to the nearest one sixteen. So multiply by two. So I have ten over sixteen and simplify. It gives me this one in five over eight is zero point six two five. So that is greater than zero point six one eight or one i if you round it up. Okay. So that is the air the di di diameter for pin A. Okay. Now let's find the um, diameter of uh, at pin B okay so let me pull this up a little bit so here's the free body diagram at D so let imagine you just cut this part and you just work on this side okay so you have this portion uh, the force to the left and the force to the uh, incline down to the left in force at D okay so that will look like this so you have the beam and the force at D which is uh, 2 keep up uh, for FBC and 3 keeps to the, left, to the right so let's, uh, let's do the submission about the moment submission about moment about D so you have a uh, negative 8 which is the distance from the distance of the beam times the force FPC and FPC is equal to 6 over 10 FPC which is the ratio of the X component plus 3 times 8 equals 0 and then you solve for FPC which gives you 5 kip now we again we use the shear stress equation that gives me uh, v over a shear force divided by the area and since we know that at pin b it's just single shear force it's just a single shear so we just we don't have to divide by two or any any number uh, that is equal to five thousand pounds over pi over four times db squared equals six thousand power over in square which is the allowable shear stress so for DB, I got uh, 1.03 inch, and it says uh, the the question asks you to find the diameter to the nearest 1 16th inch, which is 0 0.0625. So I have 1 inch, 1.03, and what is 0? What is 0 0.03? So that is less than 1 over 16. So the final dimension is the final diameter is a uh, pin B is equal to 1 1 16th inch. Okay, so that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.